We are told by the Muslims now and then that Islam means peace. Before I go and address about Islam and our subject this um, evening, let me make a clear distinction here. We are talking about Islam and not Muslims. Muslims are people. They have ups and downs in their lives. They have joys. They have miseries. They have all sorts of things in their life, just like you and I have. But Islam is a different thing. Islam is an ideology. And I am going to address Islam, not Muslims. So don't mix the two together. We are told Islam means salam, means peace. In fact, the Quranic definition does not mean that. Islam, Muhammad said, Why is to be safe? I have been sent with a sword. I have been sent to fight and kill people until they recite the Islamic creed. That doesn't sound like peace, does it? So it is not peace. And in Surah 49, the desert Arabs came to Muhammad and said, we are believers now. Allah revealed to him and said, Muhammad said to them, don't say we are now believers. Say we have submitted, we have surrendered. And faith has not entered into your heart until such time you obey Allah and his apostle. So in other words, Islam does not mean peace. It means surrender to submit. Now, this Islam, this Islamic religion, in the Quran, it identifies itself. The Quran says, in the din and Allah al-Islam, the religion before Allah is Islam. In other words, Allah doesn't know any other religion. You say, oh dear, but I'm a Christian. Ah, wait a second. Allah does not recognize Christianity now. He used to one day, but not anymore. In the din and Allah al-Islam, the religion before Allah is Islam, meaning that it is only that religion Allah recognizes. That is the only religion before Allah. وَمَنْ يَبْتَغِي غَيْرَ الْإِسْلَامَ دِينًا فَلَنْ يُقْبَلَ مِنْهُ وَهُوَ فِي الْأَخِرَةَ مِنَ الْخَاسِرِينَ Whosoever desires, let alone follow, if you desire any other religion, any other philosophy, any other ideology, you are one of those who would lose here. It will not be received of you here or in the life after. So in other words, Allah is saying, if you are not a Muslim, he does not recognize you and he is your enemy. That is basically what it means. So Islam, according to the Quran of Muhammad, it is the only religion Allah recognizes. In that aspect, all of life, Islam is not simply a religion, but it is a whole system. As you see Islam, most of the systems in the world are a religion. And this is, you may think it is only a religion, but it isn't. It has another component to it. It is also a state. What does it mean that it is, Islam is a religion and a state? It means that it is a whole system. In other words, if you were to imagine your life, because what we are now talking about is life and religion. If you are talking about a life, this is a non-Muslim view of life. If that square was life, then this is life for us. And religion is a tiny weeny part of it. According to Islam, that is not the case. According to Islam, this box, the same box becomes a whole religious system. And life, as you see it, is a tiny part of it. It means that this life you eat, you drink, you sleep, you have business, there are governments, there are laws, it is all controlled by this religious system. So Islam is not simply a religion, it is a, it is a whole encompassing system. It is a socio-political, socio-economical, socio-religious, educational, legislative, judiciary, militaristic system, cloaked and garbed in religious terminology. It is a whole thing. Everything that a Muslim does is according to this system. Everything is encompassing. It is a whole system. This Islamic system, 
because it is a system we are now going to address it from the Christian perspective what how does it see the Bible how does the Bible see it you your worldview and the Islamic worldview is radically and dramatically different in what ways well for them they live by prescription you see we don't live by prescription they have a dress code we don't have a dress code. You can wear any kind of dress, your national costume, your, you know, you can come in jeans, you can wear a jacket, any color. For prayer times, there are set prayer times, there are set directions, there are ceremonial, ablutions, everything to be done. We don't have that. Somebody praying this way, these people are praying that way, these people are praying that way, these guys are there, there's one facing this way. Those ones, those of you are facing me this way. We don't have a particular direction. In Christ Jesus, we have liberty. We have freedom. We give glory to God. But in Islam, they do not know that freedom. So they live by prescription. Ours is a personal relationship with the Lord. So we have a radical difference in our views. It is not the same. Islam regards fitrah. This is why we, the whole world is having a problem. Because of an Islamic doctrine called fitra. Fitratullah allati fatara nasu alayha. Allah has a fitra. He has a system. He has a method. And that is called the religion of nature. Allah doesn't create any man, any woman, any child, a non-Muslim. That's what Islam says. So according to Islam, all of you, including me here, regrettably, we are all Muslims. That's what they think. You are all Muslims. You have only renegated. You are all in rebellion, in a state of rebellion. But Allah has created you a Muslim. And that is why you must come back to Islam. That is what is the Quran proclaims. Hmm. If that is the case, but you say, well, what about Father Abraham? Oh, yes. Oh, Muhammad said, only a society, a parents of a child, the other outside influence make him a, a Jew, a Christian, or an unbeliever. But as far as Islam is concerned, they are all Muslims. You say, what about Abraham? The Quran says, وَمَا كَانَ إِبْرَاهِيمًا يَهُودِيًا وَلَا نُصْرَانِيًا كَانَ مُسْلِمًا حَنِيفًا وَمَا كَانَ مِنَ الْمُشْرِكِينَ Abraham! was neither a Jew nor a Christian. He was a Muslim. <laughs> oh, yes. The Quran says, Adam, from Adam to the last man, everybody is a Muslim. The next one, if you would see, you see, the whole, all of us are Muslims. And in Surah 2, verse 136, you will see it, it's come up on your screen. All of these, from Abraham to Ishmael, to Isaac, to Jesus, to Moses, to Jesus, all of them, they bow their will to Allah in Islam. Muslimun. We are all bowing down to Allah in Islam. All the prophets were Muslims. None, nobody is. You say, what about Jesus? Oh. Don't they regard him as a great prophet? So what was his mission? Didn't he really come to die for mankind? No, 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 not according to Islam. Islam has to say something different. Next one, please. So, what was the mission of Jesus? Did he come to die for you? Did he come die to, for mankind? No, 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 no. The Quran says, there it is in Surah 61, verse 6. قَالَ الْمَسِيحُ عِيسَى إِبْنْ مَرْيَمْ يَا بَنِي إِسْرَائِيلِ إِنِّي رَسُولُ اللَّهِ إِلَيْكُمْ Jesus, son of Mary, said, O oh, children of Israel, I am the apostle of Allah unto you, only to you, not universally. Oh. Confirming the law which is in my hand and proclaiming Muhammad. Great glad tidings I give you. A man to come after me, his name is Ahmed. To him you must listen. 